Okay, so we're doing a little job here today. We're doing these three inch, uh, bought these three inch pipes. Got a piece of water pipe here, it's three inch. What, what we realized is this little pipe here is too narrow. It doesn't allow enough water in when we're filling up from two, um, from the down pipes from the roof. And it's only a trickle goes across there. What we need is something bigger. Now four inch in hindsight probably would have been bigger. Would have been better, but the other factor was I needed a hole saw and I only could find a three inch hole saw. So I'd probably do this with a four inch if you can find a hole saw that size. Anyway, you can see up here that I've already cut this one in and it worked worked very well on this. And then I was able to, what I've done is cut a three inch hole in the back of that and got that through. So I'll do that later for this one. And then this here, the hole for this. Now, the trick will be to make sure this is level. So, got the level here. Now, you've got to make sure that this pipe is level. It's got to go up a little bit. Now, that to me is about level. It's about there. Now, what I'm going to do is try and mark this with the that. I'm going to try and mark this accurately as I can. And I do notice that this one is actually up a little bit from the other one. I'm going to call that the right spot. Take this down now. Okay, now I need to be in the centre of that. And I want to line this up in between those two and about in the middle there that's pretty close now I'm just going to try and do a circle in that there we go and then I'm going to get the center of that circle if I can so I've got said trusty three inch hole saw here and uh, the cheapies work zone. Um, what I had previously done, this one was actually full uh, from the last bit of rain we had the other night. This had got full and so I'd be drilling into water now. What I did though was open this valve here. I've got two valves on, the, on each side. That one so you can control it. So I open that one and that one. I allowed these because we're feeding off that tank at present allowed the, this one to come up a little for what we'd used and now it's up probably just over this point about here and I'm assuming that this one is I haven't stuck my head in there because of all this I don't want to upset that so I'm hoping that the level is down a little and of course I probably need to try and scoop out as much of this PVC as I can but we don't drink this it's for washing and um, <laughs> dishes showers and that but we can Now that may even have to screw it in before. Let's try and get a bit of the bits out. Like that. Put that to there. On this. So going to be probably about here. That one in. So take this one out. There we go line this up in here in the center there we 
we go. So that's our hole in. That'll let the water come through. And I'll have to clear this and get inside to screw that up. And that'll do it. Now I'm not going to worry about putting, we do have some, uh, the sealer. I'm not going to worry about it for now. We're going to test this first and it'll probably leak a little. But we'll test it, see if it works all right. So we don't have to no, no, do any seen modifications. Seen so there we go. Well, uh, hopefully this will be a, a successful little addition. Just to finish this video off, um, my wife had this sieve. I was able to get into the top of each of the tanks and clear out all of the little bits of PVC that you can still see on that somewhat. What we've ended up with is a fairly solid join between the two. As I say, this could be um, 4 inch and I'd suggest probably doing 4 inch if you can. Uh, but 3 inch should be enough. The 1 inch pipe just didn't cut it. It was only a trickle and and we were losing a lot of water uh, flowing out over the end. This is a simple little, if you've got two tanks or more than one tank, um, I recommend tying them together because then you can just have a permanent fix for the uh, for the downpipe going into the tank at the top and you can fill both of them equally. Any overflow I mean will flow to the other one and that means that then you can control the water. You're not, not using both at the same time you know where you're at with your water supply and you can easily uh, disconnect this then to be able to clean it which is all also important they recommend every six months that you clean here now this one probably hasn't been done for at least four years or five years and it looks like a lot of gunk in the bottom uh, the other one had frogs dead frogs in the in the bottom so we did clean that already so i'll just show the tools that i that you need to do this job it was pretty simple um, cheapy drill this one is a actually a hammer drill that you fit a, a different bit to for normal drills uh, the three inch hole saw with arbor there a half round file to widen um, the hole if you need to a shifter which you use to get the arbor out of the drill and also to turn on and off the uh, uh, the valves on the bottom of the tank or the ones we used anyway which are this type here in fact you can refer back to some of our refer back to some of our older uh, videos from a few years ago when we first set up this uh, plumbing system here uh, also a hacksaw obviously to cut the three inch pipe and then you might want a screwdriver also to uh, push out the, the PVC from there. And of course the other thing you will need will be a level. Now, of course you could also use a, uh, what do they call it, a uh, bunyip level, which is a pipe uh, with water in. But for this exercise, this is probably the simplest way to go. You need a marking pen uh, to mark on the top there where you need to drill the hole and you probably want a sieve to clean the PVC out of the water. And uh, that's about it. If you like this video, if it's helped you at all, please comment and uh, like down the bottom and of course subscribe to our channel and we'll be bringing you plenty more videos on our simple living life at the farm in the tropical Philippines. And just to show this uh, this kit here, it actually looks like a really useful. Uh, it's a Creston 15 piece. It only costs 380 pesos. Zoom in on that. 380 pesos at Supreme Hardware. It's actually got it's a 15 piece.